Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Gary Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Rizotriptan. Its brand name is Maxalt. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find the information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how rhizotriptan works. We'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe rhizotriptan. We'll then discuss examples of dosing and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does rhizotriptan work? Well, first of all, it's a selective 5-hydroxytryptamine receptor agonist in intracranial blood vessels. It induces cranial vasoconstriction. It also inhibits the release of vasoactive neuropeptides and reduces transmission in the trigeminal pain pathways during a migraine. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, the only indication here is that it is to be used during an acute migraine. Now with respect to contraindications, we wouldn't be able to give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to rhizotriptan or to any other component of the formulation. It's not to be used within 14 days of a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. Patients with coronary artery vasospasm would not be able to use this medication, and it shouldn't be used to treat hemiplegic or basilar migraines. Patients with uncontrolled hypertension or high blood pressure should not use rhizotriptan, as well as patients who have ischemic bowel disease or peripheral vascular disease. Also, patients with a history of stroke or transient ischemic attack, TIA, should also not use this medication. Now what about dosing with rhizotriptan? So in the treatment of an acute migraine, a patient would typically use 5 or 10 milligrams orally. They would have the option to repeat this dose after 2 hours, and the maximum dose would be 30 milligrams per 24 hours. Now as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using rhizotriptan, so we'll go over some of those here now. 4 to 7% may experience asthenia or abnormal weakness, while 4 to 8% may experience nausea. Dizziness may occur in 4 to 10% of patients, as well as somnolence. Again, 4 to 10% of patients may experience this. 1 to 7% may experience fatigue. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be chest pain, hypertension or high blood pressure, as well as serotonin syndrome. That's all we're going to talk about today with Rhizotriptan or Maxalt. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today, take care.